guys, it's Jess here with The Sleep Judge. Mattress shopping gets confusing with so many options, so we always try to break things down and make it just a little bit easier. Now, if you suffer with aches and pains, especially when you wake up, today we're going to be taking a look at the Level Sleep Mattress. This product has undergone over a decade of development and independent clinical trials and has shown to reduce pain by 57%. Now, if you check out their website, you'll see they're endorsed by hundreds of chiropractors. So I was really excited to see what all the hype's about. Level Sleep uses its proprietary tri-support foam with a special three-in-one surface for advanced pain relief. Where most mattresses feature a steady firmness across the entire sleep surface, the comfort layer is designed to fit the curves of the human form by combining different firmness levels based on where you carry the most weight. Now, Level Sleep inventors spent over 15 years doing extensive research and analyzing traditional designs to recognize common issues and fix them. With the encouragement of Stanford researchers, Level Sleep's tri-support mattress is said to have an advanced ability to support the curves and weights of the body and provide pain-free sleep. Now, if you want to learn more about the conception of Level Sleep and its clinically proven capabilities to keep you comfy, I'll leave a link in the description below. But for now, let's delve in and learn more about how this mattress combines pressure relief, ease in movement, and overall comfort. To get kicked off, let's take a look inside the Level Sleep mattress. I like the four-way recovery stretch feature of the cover. Not only does it snap back into place, but it also allows a minimal barrier between you and the contour of the first layer. Now, I like that it fits snugly and it's made of rayon mixed with polyester and silica. As you can see, I have removed the cover so we can take a look inside and we'll start our mattress examination at the top three inch layer of tri-support foam. Now it's an open cell material known to breathe well and we'll see how it works in our heat transfer test here in a moment. Now, as you can see, the layer lineup only consists of two materials. The remaining seven inches are made of polyfoam. The total mattress thickness is 10 inches. The layer lineup isn't very complicated, but that does not mean it's not strategic. Let's take just a sec to talk about what it feels like to lie down on the level sleep mattress. I think they did a great job combining the initial plush feeling that you want when you first lie down with the lift and support you need to keep from feeling stuck. Now, according to the Institutional Review Board, it reduces tossing and turning by 34%, and I definitely think the tri-support firmness variations do have a lot to do with this. Now, this feature could also prove beneficial for arthritis sufferers and for those who experience shoulder pain when they wake up. Furthermore, side sleepers who suffer with back pain can benefit from the tri-support layer's ability to reduce compressive and shearing forces that frequently impact this particular sleeping position. Now, you can really pick up on how the tri-support foam's use of firmness zoning prevents the burning sensation common when increased weight in certain areas like the shoulders and the hips compress the soft tissue between the bones, and I definitely think this contributes to the reports of lower tossing and turning with the level sleep mattress. Now, if you find that you just can't seem to find a comfortable sleeping position, I think level sleep could be a pretty good fit. Up to this point, we've made it pretty clear that the firmness of the level sleep varies, so let's talk more about what this means. No matter what sleep position you prefer, the bulk of your weight is carried in your hips and shoulders. Now, this can often leave the lumbar spine unsupported. The tri-support foam works to cradle pressure points and to keep the body properly aligned by making the mattress surface soft, medium, and firm where you need it. Here's the breakdown. The top 22 inches are plush to allow for good shoulder contour for side sleeping. The next 10 inches are firm, and this works to ensure proper lumbar support, a great consideration for back sleepers. The medium firm foam begins right at the bottom of this band, and this is where you want to position your hips. To best ensure you properly use the firmness zoning, you can feel seams on the side of the mattress that mark the three firmness zones, so you can use them to make sure your shoulders and hips lie in the right spots. Because of this clever incorporation of zoning, I think this product is a good fit for stomach, back, and side sleepers. It can also be a good solution for sleep partners who really have a hard time deciding on one firmness level to accommodate both sleepers. Most companies incorporate measures to keep their mattress sleeping cool. In the case of level sleep, this comes in the form of the open cell construction of that tri-support foam at the top. Rather than using a solid brick of foam, you can see small holes throughout the material. This does go a long way in terms of allowing airflow. I used my thermal imaging camera to observe how quickly the level sleep two-layer lineup would be able to cool off after I lie on the mattress for a half hour 
in a controlled room temperature. Now this process usually takes right around 10 minutes on average, and level sleep only took seven and a half. The simplicity in the layer lineup, along with the open cell construction, worked very well together, and I think it'll be a good fit for most people in terms of cool sleeping. Now, if you have a sleep partner or sit on the edge of your mattress often, it's a good idea to check out edge support. Too little edge support makes it easier to fall out of bed and harder to get in and out of bed. Now, it's especially important to examine edge support in foam products since they can sometimes lack, so let's take a look. I think the seven inch base unit does a pretty good job keeping me supported when I lie down, but I do sink in quite a bit when I sit on the edge. Again, this is pretty common in foam products. You can also see here that I sink in quite a bit on the very corner, basically bottoming out. Again, this is pretty common with this type of layer lineup, so that's pretty much what I was expecting. Now, what does this mean for you? If you have mobility issues or find yourself sitting on the edge a lot, it could be a deal breaker. However, you're gonna likely have issues on other foam products. In your case, I always suggest taking a look for something that incorporates the use of an inner spring unit for that added support that you're going for. For standard use though, edge support is comparable to the competition and on par for this material type. Although we often see a slight compromise in edge support with foam products, we typically expect them to perform well in terms of motion transfer. Now, if you have a sleep partner, this is pretty important since you really don't want to feel the other person's every move when you're trying to sleep. Now, you can see when I drop a 20-pound medicine ball next to another of equal weight, that motion transfer is very minimal. Now, if you have a restless sleep partner, I always suggest a foam product first, and Level Sleep performs very well in this department. It's also notable that despite the use of visco foam in layer one, it features significant bounce. Level Sleep did a superior job overcoming this material type's tendency to sink excessively. A lot of people get so caught up looking for a cheap mattress that they allow quality to slip through the cracks. Now you often end up spending more in the long run when you have to turn around and buy another mattress after just a few years. So we always take a moment to go through durability expectations. To make this determination in a foam mattress, we need to look at the densities of each material. Now, since this information isn't provided, I extracted square inch chunks of foam from the mattress and did the math myself. Now, if you want to see how I made my calculations, make sure you Google the Sleep Judge Level Sleep Review and read our full write-up. For now, though, let's get straight into the numbers. First, we have to identify the foam types. The tri-support is a visco foam, and the highest quality will feature a density of between 4 to 5 pounds per cubic foot. Now, of course, you usually have to pay at least $2,500 or $3,000 for a queen of this quality, and if you have the money to do that, go for it. Level Sleep runs right around $1,000 for a queen, and the density of this top layer was around 2.5 PCF. For the price, this is about right. Now, since you exert the most direct wear and tear on this layer, this is where you want really good durability. Since 2.5 is low compared to what's out there, a great way to add durability is to purchase a latex topper to go with your mattress. Latex is one of the most durable materials on the market, and it can go a long way in helping your comfort zone last. Now, the support foam is made of polyfoam, and we want to see a density of at least 1.8 PCF in this particular layer. In level sleep, though, my cube measured out right around 1.4 PCF. While there is a little room for error, we're still quite a bit under that 1.8 PCF durability threshold. For the price, I'd like to see this number a little bit higher. If you carry a lot of weight, I think you may have trouble with premature sagging. Now this adds to the fact that since this mattress is zoned, rotating for even wear and tear will throw off the firmness zones. Because of this, I would strongly recommend sleep partners switch spots once every three to four months to more evenly distribute weight across the sleep surface. Now, as with any mattress, I always recommend buying a water-resistant mattress protector. I just spoke with a viewer whose mattress is beginning to develop indents after three years. Now, he's struggling to take advantage of his warranty, which totally covers indents because he does have a stain on the cover. So I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description to some protectors that we recommend to make sure something like this doesn't end up happening to you. Now, Level Sleep does not recommend removing the cover, but you can spot clean with mild detergent or even hand soap. You can also fold your Level Sleep mattress if you need to transport it, but don't leave it in this position for an extended period of time. So at the end of the day, is the Level Sleep mattress gonna be right for you? I think they really nailed the firmness zoning, so if you do struggle to find a mattress that offers even support and contour, this could be a great fit. 
Some find it to be a little on the firm end of the spectrum, so if you don't carry a whole lot of weight, you may do better with something a little bit plusher. However, the plusher setting in the shoulder area does a great job offering proper contour. Hot sleepers will appreciate Level Sleep's above average heat transfer capability, and I really appreciate the fact that it does have 10 years of development and clinical testing under its belt. And I think it's also worth noting that the firmness zoning works best for people between 4 foot 2 inches and 7 feet tall. This range does cover most people, but if you're outside the spectrum, you won't be able to maximize those zoning benefits. Furthermore, if you're looking for a product built to last more than six or seven years, you may have better luck with something with higher density in the foam layers. Now we offer a very detailed durability guide that teaches you all the ins and outs of spotting a highly durable mattress, and I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description for you below to check that out. I like that Level Sleep does offer a forever trial, and this protects against problems with quality of construction and materials. You also get a 365 night sleep trial to make sure you like it before you're committed. Now, if you've struggled to find even contour and support across your sleep surface, I really do think Level Sleep's unique zoning could offer the right solution. Now to learn even more, Google the Sleep Judge Level Sleep Review and read our full write-up. Here, you can also take advantage of a ton of helpful resources and slash your grand total with a special coupon code, so don't miss out. Until our next review, though, remember that the right mattress can make even the worst days better.